Hey guys, what's going on here? 21st Century Moses bringing you guys a video just like I do. In this video, I'm going to talk to you guys about the NBA playoffs. I know it's something you guys may or may not be real familiar with. I'm not sure how many of my actual subscribers are basketball fans, but me, myself, I like basketball a lot. But the first thing I want to talk to you guys about is the gameplay. I've got some Titanfall for you guys. And let me know in the comment section below if you guys want me to do some more Titanfall or some Call of Duty, maybe some Battlefield, throw it in there. It's just whatever, whatever you guys want to see, I can try and post. But Call of Duty, uh, I my last post was about Call of Duty. And I, it's just, Ghost isn't that fun to me, and my controller for the 360 doesn't work very good, so it's frustrating to play Call of Duty at all times right now. So I try and play a little bit of Titanfall for you guys. It's still a first person shooter, but if you want me to, I can do whatever. But I believe this gameplay is a 15 and 2. So now to the commentary. Alright, so basketball, it's a game that um, I'm not very good at, but I love the sport. You know, I don't have the actual reaction time. I'm not very physically adept to play it. I'm uh, like just I'm not very good at basketball, to be honest with you guys. I'm not gonna lie and say I'm the best or anything like that. Just because I'm not very good at sports, just in general. So I try and just um, lift weights and I should make myself bigger. Like I don't know if you consider bodybuilding a sport. I don't compete in bodybuilding, but I just try and make myself look big. And my, my body, um, the gym here in town, we call it the Body Shop. Like uh, they're installing new carpet, so it's been down. I believe like yesterday was the first day I couldn't go. So then the next day I can go would be like the 15th of May, which is quite some time away now. So, eh, I don't really know what to do. I've just been doing some push-ups and stuff. But I'm getting totally off the commentary. We need to get back on subject. Basketball. Um, you know, my favorite team in basketball-wise is probably the Boston Celtics, just because they have a whole bunch of history. And then, like, I just started liking them whenever they had the big three of Ray Allen, KG, and Paul Pierce. You know, Paul, Bills, Paul Pierce has always been there. But then, like, we, right now, the Celtics, we have one of the best point guards, which is right now uh, Ray John Rondo. Um, hopefully, we get a very good pick in the lottery. You know, I really want Jabari Parker to go to the Celtics, like, so bad. Jabari Parker, in my opinion, is the most NBA-ready player there is. You know, you could say Andrew Wiggins is going to be the next big thing. Um, he's a lot more hyped than Jabari Parker, I'd say, but um, just depends like how well he develops in transitions, I guess you can say. You could say um, Joel Embiid is going to do real well. Maybe, you know, like he could be a bust, you know, like I'm not really sure. Uh, Dante Axiom from Australia, you know, he might be a great point guard. He might be like the next like Russell Westbrook or something like that. And I think Russell Westbrook, to go on him, he just came off the score. I think it was 32 points last night and having a triple-double. And I read a stat that says this was his third triple-double in the last five games. And this is the playoffs. This is fucking crazy. Everybody is playing their best. And they just got back from, or the last two games he played was against the Clippers, which Clippers is the, one of the best teams. And then before that, they were playing the Grizzlies, which I believe the Grizzlies are underrated. And they have a lot of good players. But, you know, I'm just saying. Um, I think Charles Barkley last night said, in about four years, uh, Russell Westbrook is going to be the MVP. I'm not sure if that's going to be, you know. Um, he has potential. I'm going to leave it at that. He's a real good player. He's very quick, you know. Um, he's taller than most point guards. I believe he's listed at 6'5", if I do remember correctly. I might have a little bit of my stats off. You know, so he's a little bit taller. He can hit some more jumpers. He can get to the rim a little bit better. He might have a mismatch. That'll help him. Um, so it... A lot of things work in his favor, so he has he's very skilled and everything like that, very athletic. Um, but you actually go to the Clippers that they're playing. Um, CP3 is one of my best, one of my favorite players to watch. You know, I've always loved CP3, and I think he's the best point guard right now in the league. You know, he can pull up and hit a three pointer. He can take you to the hole. He's a real good uh, distributing the ball. You know, I just think um, I don't know. If AJ Redick was just a little bit better, I think the Clippers would probably be the definitely best team in the league just because you could have CPC driving in, spreading out the defense, then you could pass it out on the wing and then have like JJ Redick hit it or somebody like that. Um, you know, I just have that kind of opinion. All right, so let's move on to the East. So you have the Indiana Pacers, which I'm, I live in Indiana, so like I'm obviously kind of a Pacers fan, but I've never been a real Pacers fan. I've never liked them like say three years ago because they've always just like sucked in my opinion whenever I grew up sucking they grew up sucking so I picked another team to like and that was the Celtics at that time like years ago so like that happens and everything like that but like you know I'm being from India so I'm I, like I'm gonna tend to like them no matter what they do and Roy Hibbert actually showed up last night he had 28 points in the last six games he had a combined 23 points so he just 
a little bit out of the water, you know. Um, the game before last game, he played, I think it was 18 minutes. He had five fouls, zero points, zero rebounds, zero blocks, zero assists. Like, the only stat he has was fouls. And I'm just like, man, what the hell is going on with you? But he proved the haters wrong last night, so I'm pretty proud of him. So, you know, um, so who are they going against? I can't think of it right now. But they are going up against, it's going to pop out at me, Washington Wizards. All right, so the Wizards, they got a real young team. Um, John Wall, I think he's one of the best point guards in the league. Definitely is. You also have Nene, he's a real good big man with guitar, uh, Gortat. And I'm pretty sure his name is pronounced Nene, not Nene. Like Charles Barkley, whenever he pronounces it, like, Nene. Um, let me do my Charles Barkley force. Nene. Like, I, I can't do Charles Barkley at all. I'm sorry, guys. Um, but I think he does it real good. You know, they um, you know, they have a lot of young guys on their team, you know. I'm not sure who their coach is, to be honest. I think I think they should get a better coach. I'm not really sure how well they're coached. But I've just heard like some commentary and stuff about like the way he coaches it probably isn't the best. Because, um, you know, like last game they were trying to force the three point shot. I think I'm lagging here in this gameplay. And I just think they could have went for the easy two, you know, actually get it, then try and get a stop or a steal maybe. And then that could have been a lot better strategy to use against the Pacers. But I am happy the Pacers won. So then we got the last actual round when you have the Brooklyn Nets going up against the Miami Heat. And I'm not sure everybody's opinion on LeBron James. LeBron James is one of those players you either hate him or you love him. My personal belief is that I like him. I like him a lot. He's one of the he is the best player in the world right now, even though KD did get MVP, you know. In the speech that KD gave, um, even if you are a basketball fan, I can't I, just go out in there and watch it. It's real good. It's real emotional. It, it, it makes you get a whole different inspect or aspect on Kevin Durant's actual life, you know. I never thought of him to be this kind of person. I never actually thought he was that emotional or everything. And I just look at him in a different light now ever since he'd done that. And uh, I was kind of surprised that he could actually hold this trophy up last night. But back to LeBron James. So LeBron, he's, I think he's averaging like 28 points a game. And, you know, he's going off. You know, he just got done 4 0 the Bobcats, which they weren't really that much of a threat. But Kimball Walker, he has ice in his veins a couple games. Um, uh, Cody Zeller, uh, he lives or he grew up about, I think it's like 12 miles away in Washington, Indiana. So if you guys want to do the math, you can probably find out where I live. But he grew up there, so like, I've known who, him. I've. Like, I've not really known him, known him, but, like, I've known who he is. You know, I've been, like, around him, I guess you can say. And, like, they've won a bunch of championships and stuff like that, so I've just seen him and stuff like that. You know, he has, like, two other brothers. He has Tyler and Luke. <laughs> Couldn't think of it there for a second. But back to Brooklyn. So, Brooklyn, they got a real good team and everything. Um, you know, I'm not really sure how they're going to play out. Uh, I believe the Heat are either going to win in four games or in five games. I think it's going to be real well how it plays out. And I just now remember that I forgot one of the series. You have the Spurs going up against the uh, Rip City, a.k.a. Portland. Damian Lillard, he's such a good player, you know. Like, whenever Damian Lillard first started this year, I was like, all right, he might do good, you know, he's coming off Rookie of the Year. Let's see how he plays. He's lived up to my expectations and then some, you know. He's just been balling, like, He's averaging, like, I think it's 30 points in the playoffs, and that's second year. You know, like, what the fuck's going on with this kid? You know, like, this is just crazy. Um, what else has been going on? Um, but, okay. So who do I think is going to be in the finals? Um, right now, it looks like OKC has the advantage on the Clippers, so I'm going to have to take them, even though I do want my Clippers to win. And then I will think the Spurs will probably lose to OKC, and you might have a rematch of the Heat up against OKC, and I really think that'll be amazing if we can get it. But this has just been my opinions. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But as always, my name is Moses. Hope you guys have had a great day. Uh, go out there and be happy.